So I wanted to talk about oscilloscope triggering today. Um, we're going to have a waveform that looks something like this. There'll be a bunch of pulses and then a long delay and then a bunch of pulses again. And we want to trigger on this. We're interested in these data packets. So there'll be data here and data here. So really what we want to do is we want to, we want to trigger, um, we want to trigger on these, on these events here. Okay. And, um, then our oscilloscope can zoom in and look at just that much or look at just that much. We can zoom in or we can zoom way out, um, but we'll always want to trigger on this leading edge here. So we're going to be using a little circuit that I have here. That's not important. It's just a little counter and uh, it is using a shift register. So it's uh, 16 bits of data. And so there's a 16 bit register over here. So it's serial end. So there's data and clock. Okay. And there's 16 bits worth of data and clock. And so let's take a look at what we got here. Let me move the camera a bit. So here's our data. This is our clock and this is our data. Uh, we can zoom in a little bit here. You can see that we have clocks and then we have data and we can count these, but there's 16 of them. Uh, we can move our trigger point. We can move our trigger point over to the left and then we can zoom in a little, oh, zoom in a little farther. Let's see here. Uh, let's see there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 16, 16 clocks. And then we have data that's changing. All right. So it's, everything is working great here. Okay. And so normally you're triggering in the middle here and we want to zoom in to that first, uh Oh, and our trigger breaks every once in a while. You can see that we're sometimes we're not triggering on that leading edge. And you, well, why aren't we treating on that leading edge? I have, I had the scope set to trigger on uh, trigger type mode coupling. Let's see here, trigger type edge. And it's a slope rising slope. So we're all set to go there. How come it's not, triggering all of the time. Okay. So let's go back and look at our diagram. Okay. So here's our diagram. And when we zoom in, okay, we're done with our sweep here and the oscilloscope's ready to do another sweep. And guess what? There's an edge right here. And so it might trigger on that edge there because it's the very next thing after we're done, right? We're done. That's the very next rising edge. So it's going to trigger there. That's not what we want. We want it to wait and trigger over there. We don't want it to trigger right away. As we zoom in, then we're not always triggering on the very first one. We're just triggering on the next rising edge, not the first rising edge, just the next rising edge. And we get this, we get this really bad display. All right. So we're going to be using something that you probably saw in your oscilloscope and you just don't ever use it. And you don't know why it's there. It's called trigger hold off. And on this oscilloscope, it's right down here in the trigger menu. It says hold off, right? So what is hold off? Well, um, it says once we've completed a sweep, delay a certain amount of time before you start looking for the next rising edge. Okay. So if we're, f if we're finished here and we don't do anything, it's going to trigger on that one. But if we say, go ahead and delay a certain amount of time and then start looking again, it'll wait and then it'll trigger on this one. So this is the hold off period. Whatever we set this length here, we're going to hold off before we start triggering again. That's hold off. Okay. So, uh, I think you can see that Yeah, right down there is our hold off. All right. So, um, what is, what is the distance between these two? We can get an idea of how, how much room we have to play with there. Okay. So let's, let's look at that and we'll zoom way out. And this is our, so this is our data packet and we're going to zoom way, way out. Keep zooming out, keep zooming out, keep zooming out. Oops. I'm not letting it trigger. I'm sorry. Let it figure. There we go. Uh, right there. So you can see that we're getting events every division. Okay. There's a packet. There's a packet. There's a packet. There's a packet. How far are those packets away? Well, they're a hundred milliseconds away, a hundred milliseconds. Okay. So how much of a, how much of a hold off do we want? Well, if we hold off, say 50 milliseconds, we'll be way out here, but we, our packets aren't very long. Okay. 
So how long of how long of our how long our, is our packets? Um, here we go, 100 microseconds, so 100, 200, 300. So if we hold off at least 300 microseconds, we will skip all of those other edges and we'll be ready to go again, all right? So uh, we're gonna set the hold off with, with this right gun here. So let's z zoom in again so it's doing that funny thing. It's doing the funny thing here, okay? And then we're gonna use this hold off and we're gonna set it to something like, uh, Let's see, it's 267 microseconds right now. I'll set it up to here, one millisecond. So we have a one millisecond hold off. And now we never trigger on any other edges. It's always catching the very, very first one. And so uh, that's what your hold off does on your oscilloscope. It just says, uh, once you're done, just hold off and then start looking again. And here we have a really, really nice looking picture. In fact, we can, oop, we can uh, shift it way over, take a look at that. We could do a single sweep. Yeah, everything looks great. And so um, that's just a quick video on what does this dumb hold off thing do on my oscilloscope and why do I want to use it?